Hi, I'm Wolf Weigo, co-founder of CAP7, and today we're gonna to work on some passing drills. Hope you enjoy them. Let's get after it. Working on drills that we uh, can do on our own in a backyard pool or a community pool. It's really important that you're not getting a bunch of friends together and working out. You should really be in isolation with your family members, your siblings or your parents, or on your own. Uh, you don't wanna have anyone in the pool. If you notice, no one's at this community pool, and no one should theoretically be at your home pool as well. So stay safe, that's the most important thing. And if you can get in some drills, get after it. This is a great passing drill using the cap seven skip ball. You wanna bounce the ball in the middle in between the two players so it pops up and takes a skip. The player has to react to how it bounces off the water and catch it. It's great for body balance and positioning as you'll have to move your body to an awkward angle a lot of times to catch the ball. This is a really fun drill for kids to do together. They absolutely love bouncing the ball. For older players, you can use a regular water polo ball and do the same exact drill. It's a lot harder, but it's great for your abs and getting up high and slamming the ball down off the water. Now's a great time to work on your left hand, whether you're using a rebounder or passing with a partner. You can really improve your left hand during this time. A lot of times in practices with teams, you don't get to work on your left hand that much. When passing with your right hand, put your left shoulder forward and lean your body forward a little bit to get yourself in a great passing position. This right-left passing exercise is a great drill for your legs as well as your coordination with both hands. It'll tie your legs out and get both hands capable to make short passes in the game. This is a great leg drill to mix up with your passing drills. Get the players close together and pass the ball above the head. This will tire you out really quickly. Now we're gonna add some lateral movements to work on your body balance and adjusting your position in the water. This drill is harder than it looks. This is a really fun foot pass that kids absolutely love to do. It works on their ball handling skills as well as their body position where they're going from a horizontal to a vertical position. This is a great fundamental drill where the player transitions from swimming head up to the ball into some breaststroke advances, into a couple fakes, and a slam down. In this drill, she's doing three breaststroke advances and two fakes before slamming the ball down. Here you can see she's only gonna do one breaststroke advance and one fake. It's really important in this drill, after you do the breaststroke advance and do that strong kick when your legs are in a horizontal position that you draw them completely under your body and get back into the vertical position when doing your fake. Here we're gonna go over a perimeter move called a rear back where you take a couple short strokes into your defender to get free for a pass or a shot. You can do this without the defender. Here you see the player not taking quick enough strokes. Now you see the rapid strokes, that's what you wanna look for. Push with your hands and scull your body backward away and step over your legs to receive the ball. Okay. We're gonna finish up with some faking and some shot blocking. You can do either of these on your own, just with the ball faking or without a ball, pretending you're shot blocking. Also, you can have a parent on deck or teammate or sibling on deck, pretending they're the shooter while you're blocking or vice versa. This is a really good leg drill and good for building the skills of blocking the shot. You can see the players here really moving from that vertical position to a lateral horizontal position and mixing it up. For youth players to remember when training on their own is they should have the right size ball. So kids under nine, eight years old, seven, should have a splash ball or a skip ball. Kids 10 and under should have a size two, like I'm holding right now, and then 12 and unders are size three, and so on and so forth. So when you're, when you're faking and making movements with the ball, you can do the actual movements. If you have a bigger, a bigger ball than you need, you're gonna be so worried about having the ball and just holding it up, and you're not gonna be able to do any of the movements that you'll see in these drills. For this faking drill, you don't need a goal. You don't really need anyone else. You can do this in a group setting or as an individual. Really drive your legs, try and keep your shoulders out of the water, keep your off shoulder forward, and rotate your body, mix up your fakes. Don't just do the same fake every time and mix up your body position. So sometimes do a hard breaststroke kick and get horizontal on the, on the water and then recover back into that strong vertical position, mixing up your fakes. 
Again, for the shot blocking, you can do this on your own or you can be shadowing someone on the pool deck or in the pool faking. Right now, these players are shadowing someone on the pool deck, faking a ball and trying to match their arm to the position. Here they've switched shoulders, now they're using their left hand. Notice their left arm is a little bit forward from the right shoulder and they're trying to mirror the ball. Here you see an individual just doing it on their own with nobody faking the ball. She's not mirroring anyone, just going through the motions of shot blocking. We hope you enjoyed this. Visit cap7.com for more videos.